Hey guys and welcome to Bunches of Lunches. I'm Jennifer and usually on these videos I share the fun lunches that I make for my kids. But recently my kids have really fallen in love with making their own lunch. And I've really been enjoying teaching them how I do it. And you guys, not only are the three oldest going to make their lunch this week, but also my toddler's going to help make his lunch, my husband will share with you his lunch, and I'm showing you my lunch as well, something I don't do very often. Now if you're new here, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button, and go ahead and click the notification bell, that way you don't miss out on any of our new videos. Hi guys, Mackenzie here. This is what I'm making for my lunch today. For my main course, I'm making a blessed sandwich. It's kind of like a BLT, but my sandwich has B for bacon, L for lettuce, E for egg, and S for salad. And that's what a blessed sandwich is. And normally I would just use regular bread, but my mom picked up this kind from the store. I think it must have been on sale. I've never tried it before, and the slices look extra thick. So the first thing I'm gonna do is chop up two hard boiled eggs. And I'm gonna add some mayonnaise and some mustard. Then I'm gonna mix that all up until it's all into egg salad. Next I'm gonna get a plate and I'm gonna put it down and I'm gonna put a, a paper towel over it and I'm gonna make my bacon. I'm gonna put two strips on this. This bacon is already cooked, but all I have to do is heat it up in the microwave until it's crispy. And I'm gonna put one paper towel on top of it so it doesn't get messy in the microwave. Now I have two pieces of my extra thick bread and I'm gonna put my mayonnaise on there. Just a little bit on each piece because it's already in the egg salad. Next I'm gonna pile up lots and lots of lettuce. And then goes the egg salad followed by the crispy bacon. Now I'm gonna close up my sandwich and my mom's gonna help me cut it in half. Now this ended up being a really big sandwich. So I'm gonna have one half and I'm gonna share the other half and I put a little emoji pick in it. And that's gonna help keep my sandwich from falling apart. Next, I'm going to add some fruit and veggies. For my fruit, I'm having peaches, but not just regular peaches. My mom found these really weird peaches at the store. They're kind of flat, and they're called Saturn peaches. I'm gonna leave this peach whole, and I'm gonna stick it right into my lunchbox. I'm gonna put a little emoji pick in there, too. For my vegetable, I'm adding some sugar snap peas, and I'm going to snip the ends off with scissors because I don't like to eat that part. And I really like to dip these in ranch. So I have a little container to go with them. For my snack, I'm adding barbecue pop chips. And for my special treat, it's something that I love. Actually, my whole family loves these. This is mochi ice cream. And they make lots of different flavors of these. But I really like the mango. If you've never had mochi before, it's made out of rice and they pound it into a dough. This sweet tree has mochi on the outside, but mango ice cream in the middle. For my drink, I'm just gonna have water. Let me know in the comments down below if you ever had mochi ice cream. And if you have, what flavor is your favorite? Hey guys, Jackson here, and I'm gonna make my lunch. Today, I'm going for a kind of dinosaur theme lunch. My favorite dinosaur is the Stegosaurus. Well, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite dinosaur is. I'm gonna go ahead and make the main course first because it's gonna take the longest. To go with my dinosaur theme, I'm gonna make these dino chicken nuggets. These chicken nuggets are pretty tasty. I'm gonna add six of these frozen nuggets to their pan. Then my mom is gonna help me put them in the oven. It only takes about 12 minutes to cook. For my fruit today, I pick apple slices because these are really good. My mom picked up this apple slicer at the Dollar Tree. But I've never actually used one for, so it's time to try it. Basically, you just have to push really hard, then you do it. For my vegetable, I picked celery. I'm just gonna cut these into smaller pieces with a plastic knife. In goes my apple. And I put the apple pieces back together to keep them from turning brown. And the celery goes right in here. To go along with these, I picked some peanut butter. Cause peanut butter is good with both apples and celery. Be careful when the, you open these, they might be oily and spill everywhere. I know that from experience. Now I'm gonna put the chicken nuggets in the lunch box. And also adding Rice Krispie treats and some water. And that's everything in my lunch today. 
I guess I'm... Since Griffin's not talking a whole lot yet, should I help you with your lunch today? Yeah. What's your favorite food? Mac and cheese. Yes, I like myself. Now, since I'm out of butter and milk, I'm gonna go ahead and make this easy mac because I don't need those ingredients. And Griffin, you gonna help me? <laughs> so we're just gonna remove the lid, take out the little cheese packet, and then Griffin, you gonna help me add the water? Yeah. Okay, pour it in. So there's the water. Now can you help me stir it up? For Griffin's fruit, we're gonna add raspberries because he loves raspberries. Yeah, you're doing it. I put carrots in there. You put carrots in there? Yeah. Good job. I really need carrots in there. Let's make mac and cheese now. So when this comes out of the microwave, it's really hot. So I'm just gonna have Griffin add the cheese and then I'm gonna mix it up. We have to be really careful, it's so hot. Should we add a treat to your lunch? Yeah. What about some PB&J sticks? Now, if you've never seen these before, they're called serendipity and they're actually really cool. Don't at me. These little sticks are actually peanut butter filled cookies and then you dip them in the raspberry jelly. So it's like a peanut butter and jelly treat. You are gonna get one of them, dip it in nail. Yeah, that was And good. even water in my cup. You like water sometimes and milk sometimes? Yeah. You did a good job helping with lunch. There's my match. Show me. Okay, now show me how you take a bite. <laughs> yeah, it's yummy. Hi guys, this is Lily, and now it's my turn to make a lunch. I'm gonna start by making my main course, and it's gonna go right in here. I'm gonna make a roll up sandwich. First, I'm gonna take a tortilla, then, I'm gonna add a little bit of pesto. I really like pesto, I eat it all the time on noodles, but it's also really good in a roll up sandwich. I'm gonna spread this pesto all over the tortilla. Next, I'm gonna add some slices of turkey and some slices of cheese. And my mom's gonna help me roll it all up. We're gonna stick it in a fruit for a little bit before we cut it. That way, it'll cut easier. Next, I'm gonna cut up some watermelon. Don't worry, I'm using a plastic knife. It's not really sharp. I just wanna have smaller pieces so it'll fit in my lunch spot. I love watermelon. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite fruit is. To decorate my watermelon, I'm gonna add a cute rainbow unicorn pit right in there. And I can use it to pick up my watermelon. For my vegetable today, I'm adding some carrot sticks. But I only like to eat carrots if I have a ranch. So I'm adding a little container of it. We cut the rolled up sandwiches and put them in the lunch box. And for my special treat today, I'm adding a Mr. Brownie. My mom actually bought these at the Dollar Tree. Did you know that the Dollar Tree has brownies? They're actually pretty good. And just like all the other kids, for my drink, I'm just having water. And that's everything my lunch today. Hi guys, I'm back with another lunch idea. Uh, this time I'm digging through the freezer and I found these veggie bites. Now I really like these and uh, they're leftovers. So I'm just gonna heat up a pile of them on this tray and then I will stack them in my lunch box. I dug through the fridge and found this guacamole mini cup that I'm gonna stick in here to dip. And I also have a small ketchup for dipping sauce as well. I'll stick it in there. I found this Enjoy Life Chocolate Protein Bites. It's an allergy friendly little treat. It's gluten free. Got some protein in there. I'll just uh, tuck it in this little pocket right here. Next up I'm going to throw together a fruit salad with a few leftover fruits that we have. I've got cherries, watermelon, honeydew, and cantaloupe 
and a couple of raspberries. I'm just gonna toss these up and then I will add them here into my box. While I was looking through our snack selection, I came across this chocolate covered bacon strip. This is a piece of applewood smoked bacon that is fully enrobed in dark chocolate. Sounds delicious, I've never tried this one before, but I think I will add it to my lunch. In the snack area, I also found this little orchard bar. It's a pineapple, mango, macadamia, and coconut. And to drink, I'm just going to have this water. And there it is. Okay guys, and now it's time to show you what I actually like for lunch. And I decided I wanted to test out some new lunch boxes for this. I actually picked these up at Target quite a long time ago and I've just not used them yet. A while ago, my Target stopped selling Sistema containers, which I really love, and they replaced them with these snap locks, which are very similar but actually they seem more sturdy. These come in lots of different sizes and configurations, but I went ahead and picked up the salad container, the snack container, and the smaller split container. And as you can see, these have a snap lock on the side, just like Sistema products do. Hashtag not sponsored, I just really love trying new lunch containers. This salad container is gonna be perfect for my lunch today because I am making a salad. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove all the stickers, give these containers a wash, and then I can start making the lunch. For my salad, my first ingredient is romaine lettuce. And sometimes I buy this in the bag pre-chopped, but today I'm gonna to go ahead and wash these and chop them up myself. They're definitely a lot fresher when you cut your own. So now that I have all of my lettuce cut up, I'm gonna add it to the bottom section of my salad container. This fits so perfectly in there. And what's really great about this container is that I can put the salad on the bottom and I can put all of my toppings in a separate tray that can sit on top. That way I can just go ahead and add all of the ingredients right before I want to eat it and that way my salad won't get all soggy. Recently, I've joined the Weight Watchers program or now it's called WW. So I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier. So instead of eating a regular cheeseburger, I'm going to make a cheeseburger salad. So of course this salad is gonna have all the ingredients you might find on a cheeseburger. I have some thinly sliced onion. Next, I'm gonna add a few of these dill pickles. And then in this larger section, I'm gonna go ahead and add just a tablespoon or so of this shredded cheese. This is a cheddar and jack blend. And now we come to the burger part. Now you could definitely use any kind of meat you want here, but for my salad today, I'm gonna give these veggie crumbles a try. Now generally I really enjoy veggie burgers, so I'm thinking I'm gonna love these veggie crumbles as well. They really do look and smell just like beef. But unlike beef, it's not gonna be very greasy, and it's definitely on the lighter side. Okay, so this actually comes fully cooked, but it's frozen. So I'm just gonna take about half a cup of this, pop it into the microwave until it's warmed through. You guys, let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried these veggie crumbles or if you're a fan of veggie burgers. Let me know which brands are your favorite because I'd love to try more meatless options in the future. So now that our meat is nice and hot, I can go ahead and add it into this little container. Of course, it's not a lunch of mine if I don't spill some. Now, as far as the salad dressing goes, I think this would be really tasty with a Thousand Island dressing, since this is a cheeseburger salad. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep it a little bit lighter. I'm gonna add some of my favorite yogurt-based ranch dressing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour a little bit right in the center. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put my container back together. This fits perfectly right in there. And then I'm gonna get the lid on, and it really does snap really tightly. Now, if you happen to be following the Weight Watchers program as well, this cheeseburger salad is really big and it's only five points. Now, to go along with my cheeseburger salad, I'm also gonna go ahead and prepare a little snack. This definitely can double as a treat, but it's actually not that bad for you. For this one, I'm gonna go ahead and use this new snack bin. It's definitely a longer rectangle shape and there's two separate compartments. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and fill the larger section of this container with fresh cut strawberries. And now comes the treat part. In this section, I'm gonna add just two tablespoons of light whipped cream. Now, if you're curious about this one, it's only one Weight Watcher point, which is really good. And last but not least, for my special drink today, 
I choose a Spindrift. Now this is actually sparkling water, but the difference is, is that these ones have real fruit juice in them. Not very much, just lightly sweetened. And if you're on the Weight Watchers plan, it's only one point. These come in lots of different flavors, but my personal favorite is the raspberry lime. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.